Alright everybody, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be finishing off the Top 100 series in the best fashion possible. We're going to be looking at the top 10 players who didn't make the Top 100, but we're not just going to do this season. We're going to do the 2016 season, the 2017 season, and the 2018 season. And if anyone turns up in all three lists, I'm going to feel very, very, very sorry for them. So let's check them out. Let's start with 2016, the top 10 players who didn't make the top 100 players of 2016. Number 101 to 110. Let's do this. Let's stop what we're doing and celebrate the 10 guys who just missed. Here's 110 to 101. See the muscles out there? Dude, when I run on the field, this Whoa. is going to down. I just look at his gun. Connor's Fuck Dude, you now. You're having to double team Connor Barwin. Well, that presence right there is going to make your defense better. Connor Barwin got free! From New England, Jamie Collins. I don't think he get as much credit as he deserves. And you watch him on film, it seems like he's making every play one of the best linebackers in this league. Kicking is a very serious craft. What he can do on the field. <laughs> the team. I've got that guy in my, uh, in my fantasy team. <laughs> I thought it was a good pick, but I probably could have got him a few a few rounds later. Hmm. His technique is amazing, and that's why he gets such consistent results. Make sure that his technique is repeatable. The snap of the spot, right on the play. The kick is driven to the upright. The kick is beautiful. Good. He's got it. A game winner. The name might not ring a bell, but they when they turn on the tape, they'll see me. I can only name really one other safety that can do what I do, and that's Tyron Matthew. I play free safety, I play strong safety. 27. I, against receivers. I like that. If I can line up and make plays anywhere on the field. Malcolm Jenkins on a Tom Brady turnover. Keep going. Any other player out there that should be a top 100 player? Yeah, Donald Penn. He should be a top 100 player. And then me. No, I'm messing with you. I stuffed that up. Who's this guy? This guy's um. He like a baby with all the talent. Crabtree. Play against San Diego. The screen that he caught made a couple guys miss. He showed his first round pedigree right there for sure. Makes the first man miss. Makes the second man miss at the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Bang off the right. Goes for the corner. Cooper's in. He lightning on thunder. Is he gonna be a storm? The receiver he should be in the top of the hundred this year. I would say uh, T.Y. very explosive. He's able to get that separation on even the faster corners of the league. One time I was man to man on him in the slot and he ran a deep over route on me. Oh! <laughs> what a hit! That was probably one of the best plays on me all year. Yeah, we still got smashed. Let's go, series two. Let's go, step up, come on. I remember when we selected him and I was like, who's Anthony Barr? <laughs> For a couple years, I've seen him do some amazing things. I was like, wow. Anthony Barr right there. Wow. He comes up. Oh, wow. He comes up just creating Oh, pick six. Oh, day. Let's go. See ya. See ya. Nah, didn't happen. He gets low and he comes through and he finishes through his tackles. I'm just like, wow. Just, he's still. Wow. So, very Good tackle. Hard time against this guy. He has the potential to be the best linebacker ever play the game in my office. Oh, 
<laughs> Alright, that was 2016. 2017. Jeez, this is a short one. You know, one thing about Eli, he's been doing it for so long. Eli Manning. Is that, uh, that's Peyton Manning's brother, isn't it? Right, and I don't know anything about him. Throw by Eli Manning. Dropped it right in there, right over the corner. One play, man, we playing the Saints. Marquette. No. No, we're already on to the next one. Bloody hell. One play, man, we playing the Saints. Get him! Go, 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 Good tackle. Good protection up front by Lockwood. Jack Coughlin getting excellent blocks. Pouncey from Steelers. Not Gerald Pounce. Gerald Pounce. He's my favorite. Offensive tackle. Probably need the best technician, but his overall guy gives me the ability and athleticism. They snubbed me for this. It's all good. I still got love for y'all boys, but I know y'all gonna do me wrong. Eric Wedding will make all the plays defense. <laughs> Brady is throw on third and 11. Pocket collapsing, and Eric Wedding will second. He's a freak, man. I feel like pound for pound, he's a force. Folding people. <laughs> Believe it or not. It's Linval! Now he probably has the strongest hands like in the league. DT. DT, he's a ball in the great athlete. The ball could get in the air somewhere around DT. He could go up one hand, two hands, and make the play. DT makes the catch. Touchdown! Demarius Thomas. The idea of it. Devontae Adams. Out of 100 guys, I feel like I should be on it. How did he catch that? What the? That was unbelievable. All right, man. Imagine being 101. I don't think I've seen a player that's been in both lists yet. Here we are, the top 10 players who didn't make the top 100 players of 2018. This should be good. The thing with Marcus is, man, he uh, he's an athlete. You know, you can run the ball, you can throw the ball. Mariota! <laughs> well, I've been playing with Mariota on, um, on Madden. I'm the running back, McDonald, number 27. Mariota's my quarterback. Yeah, I like him. First lane, it's not going to cut by Mariota! He's doing it all. I mean, throwing passes, catching passes, he's doing it all. Marcus Mariota just threw and caught a touchdown pass! Let's go, baby. Just keep on, keep on going. He's been so underappreciated in my opinion. He's always around the quarterback and he's always finding a way to make a play. Brandon Graham rips the football out and of the hands of Tom Brady. Sorry, Brady. For him to be able to make a play like that in the Super Bowl, it couldn't have happened to a better player and a better Philadelphia Eagle. Marquise, he plays with the tenacity. He's an athletic guy. Screen left to Buck Allen, and he's smashed by Anthony Barr. Smashed! I think that's the same commentator who says Linval. Turning things loose. Peppers in Winston's face. He's been in the league since 2002. He played against Emma Smith. Peppers. That's crazy, right? And I think I saw Peppers in the last one. Oh, you probably played against Walter Payton, too. We joke like that every now and then, but I mean, this guy still moves like he's young. Hell no, bro. Hell no, bro. I think Crowd deserves it. Yeah, some of the best hands in the league. Uh, Get up. Like King Crab got the claws around that football. Crabtree. Big play after big play. Crabtree. Fourth down against the Chiefs to win the game. You know who you go to. There's always Crab. And it is caught for a touchdown by Michael Crabtree. The Raiders win it. Whoa. What a character. What a player. He's the leader of the Ravens, no doubt. It's been weeks since we last with somebody else. It's been ages since we last with somebody else in this field. That longevity, it, he just seems to get better with age. What is he, like year 20? I mean, I remember watching him in high school. <laughs> Heck of a year this year. Jarrell Suggs is having a field day today. 34 years old, but not looking at 34. It. He's really good with his hands. Making sure he knocks the line of hand down so if they try to punch him. 
I didn't even know his secrets. You asked me seven years from now how to get here. I'm like, Terrell Suggs had the blueprint to be year 13 or 14 and still be in the league level of pass rusher. <laughs> All right, right now I'm going to try and name, I'm going to try and rattle off the, the positions on offense and defense, all right, just whilst I'm thinking about it. Because I was, I was confused because there's no guards on the defensive side. And I thought a defensive end was further out than what they actually are. So on defense, you've got the two defensive tackles. You've got two defensive ends. You've got three linebackers. You've got two corners and probably one or two safeties. On offense, you've got the center. You've got the two guards, two tackles. You've got two wide receivers, you've got a quarterback, and two running backs. Is that right? And a tight end. And a tight end on the outside of the tackles. Yeah. Something like that. Special teams? Special teams? I haven't even tried. Haven't even tried to, to work it out yet. That's, that's actually interesting because I've, I've thought that the, the center snaps the ball and doesn't really do too much else. But um, obviously they're, they're snapping it and then first, first and foremost trying to block either of those two um, defensive tackles or something like that. Anyways guys, look, that was fun. If you have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed it, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you guys back here for another video very soon. I reckon I'm going to watch episode number six of the series NFL Undiscovered 2018 with my man Jordan Mylata. What a legend. What an absolute... He's becoming a fucking legend here in Australia. He's playing for the Eagles. He's just made the 53-man squad. And um, he's 21. He's 6 foot 8 and 350 pounds. Not a guy I would want to come up against, that's for sure. So stay tuned for that. Peace out, guys.